I'm Bob McDonough. I'm the lead designer for Wilderness Systems. I'm here to show you our new um, Aspire 105 and, and one, 100 today. This is the Aspire. It's um, a replacement for the, the Solo Pamlicos, which have been in our line for quite a few years. But And what we've really done with this one is to really try to complement the Pungo, that, which is our mainstay for the recreational class in um, Wilderness Systems. The Pungo is probably the best flat water boat in the world. And what we've done with the Aspires is try to make a boat that paddles flat water, but, but it's also um, a hybrid boat, so it'll paddle moving waters as well. The Aspire has a lot of the stability that Wilderness is known for, the friendly stability, along with great performance. You know, so you can see, if you, if you can, up in the bow, and we've got nice fullness, so if you're in the hybrid water, moving water, it's gonna stay dry and a nice full bow for going up and over some small waves. The, the um, Aspire has the, the classic wilderness systems chimes on the boat, so you know they're they're over here where you can see them, and they give long, sweeping, graceful lines to the boat. But also where the chime blends into the side hull, it shows you kind of where the volume's located for stability. So it comes with a standard grab handle, um, deck rigging, which is multi-adjustable. In the cockpit, we've um, molded in a unique console. One of the features I like playing around with and, and, and think is really good because everyone has to have water with them and whether you're on the water or not, you need to stay hydrated. So with this one, there's everyone has a different size water bottle. So I, I came up with an idea for attaching different size bottles. A standard bike bottle fits in here well. You can fit it to multiple locations. You can get down to cans or even small disposable types of water bottles, even though we don't recommend disposable bottles and up to the, si the full liter size. So, you know, no excuse not to take your water with you this time. And it's all right there accessible so that it's easy to get to when you're seated in the boat in the paddling position. In addition to the cup holder up here, we've got small accessory trays, gear trays on either side of the cup holder. And they're meant to be useful We've got, you know, for many different objects that you can place in there. Um, the idea is that we, everybody typically takes with them are sunglasses, Cell phones or um, cam small cameras will fit in there, down to simple things like sunscreen, you, you name it. So again, it's, you put small items in there that just lay in there. So they have nice little drain holes in them so the water drains out. But easy to stash a lot of different things in there. The boat comes with knee pads, standard knee pads, so that you're padded out. Um, in the boat, easy, comfortable place to put your legs. It's got the standard, the new Air Pro Phase 3 seat system. And it's got the adjustability that Phase 3 is known for in the newer Air Pro system. You know, the Pungo, when you paddle, it goes exactly where you're pointing, and it's beautiful. People get out of the Pungo and say, boy, it's so easy to paddle, it just goes exactly where I want it to. Um, the Spire, unlike the Pungo, is meant to be maneuverable. So when you're in moving water, um, you can actually maneuver and, and get to where you want to go. But, so, but when you get to flat water, you want the boat to track straight. So with the Aspire, we put a, an adjustable spring-loaded skeg. So um, as you get to the calmer waters and the boat's maybe moving around a little bit more than you like, you can um, deploy the skeg with this simple cord here and the boat will track straight. Aspire also comes with um, rigging that's useful for multi-purposes right behind the cockpit and a our, standard oval orbix hatch cover which provides a nice big opening to the to the rear bulkheaded compartment. We also outfitted the boat with a skid plate in case you have to drag it and you don't want to wear your boat out. So that's a replaceable skid plate. So if you do drag it and you are getting wear and tear there, you can replace the skid plate. So the Aspire comes, you know, like we talked about, it's got the beveled chine system here, but also the hull itself is a small shallow arch so that it's not sitting real deep in, in shallow rivers. It's easy to turn doesn't have a, a nice strong tracking V in the hull. So again, we designed and this is reminiscent of our tarpon series, our really popular tarpon series, and some of our tandem pamlicos. The channels provide additional reinforcement for the hull just to keep it in good shape. So what I like probably most about this design is that I think it fills a category in the market that's not currently being satisfied. It's all the hybrids out there that I've seen are, are sort of whitewater based. This one's kind of recreationally touring based so that it, it does some white water, but it's really made for um, flat water and, and a, a small amount of white water as opposed to most, mostly white water with some flat water. I'm Bob McDonough with Wilderness Systems. 
Thanks for looking at our Aspire today. We're excited about it, and I uh, hope you are too.